Welcome to ASVAB Test Prep Online Lesson Series. In this lesson, we'll go over fraction. So you know, fraction is one of the most important topic in the ASVAB test for both arithmetic reasoning and also for the math knowledge. If you understand the concepts, so that will be good for your um, AFQT, ASVAB test, ASVAB GT, or AFCT. If you learn the video uh, properly, you could answer any kind of fraction related problem that you might see in the actual test. As you know, ASVAB tutoring helped over 8,000 people to get their um, dream job in the US military. So before you start, make sure that you have a notebook and a pen so you could write some very important information that will help you to prepare for the test. And as always, Pause the video and try to practice by yourself and then the resume the video and then keep continue. Okay. So after watch the video a couple of times, then download this application called ASVAB Prep 2023 from App Store or Google Play. It has plenty of practice test and it has also prediction test that kind of tells you if you are ready to take the actual test or not. Um, so let's get started. First of all, what is fraction? So let's learn fraction with an example. So say like you bought a pizza, right? And you made two slices and you ate one slice. So what fraction did you eat? So you ate actually one out of two, right? So that is called the fraction, right? Part out of whole right for the second example if you make the pizza into four slices and you eat two so you eat actually two out of four in that case the pizza was made into uh, nine slices and you ate one two three four five so that gives you five out of nine right same case in here if the um, so say like you have a rectangle, you made three slices, so the fraction will be one out of three, in that case five out of six, in that case one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so that gives you four out of eight. So that is actually what a fraction is all about. So next, there are two parts of a fraction, so you could see here. The top number is called numerator and the bottom one is called a denominator. Okay. Next, uh, if the denominator is bigger than numerator, that is called proper fraction. You could see here 3 is greater than 5. So that is called proper fraction. But if it is opposite, that means its top number is bigger than the bottom that is called improper fraction. So that means denominator is less than numerator. So that is called a improper fraction. So that means the fraction written improperly. All right. So now what is called mixed fraction? So sometimes you will see a fraction with a whole number and a fraction, which is called mixed fraction or mixed number, right? So if you want to make this mixed number into improper fraction, what you have to do? You have to multiply and add. So that gives you 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 is 27 over 5. In that case, 4 times 9 is 36 plus 3 is 39 over 4. So next is 12 times 5 is 60 plus 4 is 64 over 5. So you know how to make from mixed number to improper fraction. Now let's go to um, opposite direction. So how to make this improper fraction to a mixed number. So let's keep that in mind. Anytime you divide a fraction, the top number goes always inside the box. So you could write 29 inside 5 is outside. Now divide like regular way. 5 goes into 29 is 5 times. So 5 times 5 is 
25 subtract it you get 4 and then you need to put a line here and then make this remainder top of the line so that gives you 4 and this one will be going the bottom so that is 5 so that means uh, 29 over 5 if you want to make this improper fraction into a mixed number that will be 5 and 4 fifth let's do another example 79 over 8 so let's do it so 79 so 8 goes into 79 is a 9 times so 9 times 8 is 72 same way subtract it you get 7 that gives you 7 out of 8 so 9 and 7 8 now let's learn what is called equivalent fraction so equivalent fraction means a fraction so you did an example in the top here so you see here 2 out of 4 and 1 half so those are called equivalent fraction so um so let's go here so that means you need to multiply uh, denominator or numerator by the same number or you could divide it top and bottom by the same number in that case we multiply top and bottom by 2 so that 3 times 2 is 6 5 times 2 is 10 okay so if you multiply by 3 so that gives you 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 5 is 15 if you multiply by 4 so that gives you this one so 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times uh, 5 times 4 is 20 so that is 12 over 20 so that is called equivalent fraction the same way here so you have 16 over 20 if you divide it by 2 that gives you 8 this gives you 9 and if you divide it by 4 so that gives you 4 and 5 so this all called equivalent fraction so the next thing we'll learn how to simplify fraction if you want to simplify fraction, you have to divide it top and bottom by the same number. So you could see here, I uh, divided this one by 5, this one by 5, right? So 20 divided by 5 is 4, 30 divided by 5 is 6. So you could still divide, divide both sides by 2, divide both sides by 2, so that gives you 2 thirds. So um, the simplest form of 20 over 30 is 2 out of 3. So you could divide it in one shot or you could break it down, whatever is good for you. Okay, but you have to go to the lowest term. Do another one. So in that case, you need to divide it both on um, both sides, top and bottom by 2. Divide by 2, so that gives you 8. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 22 divided by 2 is 11 so that is simplest form now let's learn how to add fractions okay so if you want to add the fraction the first thing you have to do you have to find the common denominator so in that case so let's do this example one third plus one third if the denominator are the same so then you could add only the top number so that gives you 1 plus 1 is 2 over 3 okay but if the denominator are not the same then you need to do you need to make the common denominator how to do it so let's do that let me show you trick so what you have to do you have to read the multiplication table for both so 3 6 9 12 for the 2 you have 2 4 six eight now you have to find the smallest common okay so the smallest common is six so six is my common denominator okay if i do that so that gives me um six here plus six there right so now you need to find the equivalent fraction so what do you have to do so look what you need to multiply 3 to get 6? You need to multiply that by 2. So let's do multiply by 2. Now, what do you need to multiply 2 to get 6? Multiply by 3. So that multiply by 3. So that gives me 2 over 6, 3 over 6. Now you have 
common denominator now you have to add the top numbers only that gives you 3 plus 2 is 5 out of 6. Now this is a practice problem you try by yourself make sure that you get it and that is the answer. Now let's do another examples so in that case you need to add two mixed number two mixed fraction so if you want to add a mixed fraction the first thing what you have to do you have to make this mixed fraction into improper fraction so you remember the previous example so multiply add multiply add so 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19 over 2 okay plus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 3 right now you have to find the common denominator so you know the common denominator between 2 and 3 will be 6 in that case because we did that before now multiply that by 3 that by 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 so 9 times 19 times 3 is 57 13 times 2 is 26 if you add them up 6 plus 7 is um 13 3 carry 1 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8 so that gives you 83 over 6 okay so anytime if you have a improper fraction you have to turn into a mixed number so let's do that 6 with 83 6 goes into 8 is 1 times is 6. Subtract it. You get 2. This 3 here. 6 goes into 23. How many times? 3 times, right? So 3 times 6 is 18. And if you subtract, that gives you 5. Put a line. So that gives you 5 out of 6. So the answer is 13 and 5 over 6. So pause the video and try by yourself make sure that you understand so there is another example here okay this is exactly the same way so now you try by yourself and see what you get so the answer will be here 9 plus 5 is 14 14 it will be uh, 14 and 5 over 6 so you try by yourself make sure that you get that this is another practice problem right so you could try by yourself um, and the answer is in here is 22 and 3 over 4 so you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer okay now we'll do a um, uh, what problem so you'll prob you'll see this type of problem in the actual test that problem actually came in the test before so let's do that so what do you have here I have 1 4 plus 1 half plus 1 6 so what you need to do what is the average of this fraction so what you need to do you need to add them up and then divide it by 3 okay so in that case the common denominator is 4 2 and 6 is 12 right so 12 12 12 right so now what do you need to multiply 4 to get 12 multiply that by 3 by 3 multiply that by 6 that by 6 this multiply by 2 multiply by 2 so that you have 3 6 2 right so if you add them up so 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11 over 12 so what you need to do next you have to um, divide right so this divided by 3 so if you do that so that is 11 over 12 times 1 third so that gives you 11 over 36 okay so that is the answer we'll, we'll learn how to divide fraction in next um, in next few slides now let's learn how to subtract fraction okay this is exactly same way you did for the addition in that case you just need to subtract it and turn it into a mixed number so let's do that so make this mixed number into improper fraction first so 9 times 5 is 45 plus 1 is 46 over 5 
plus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2. The common denominator in that case 5 and 2 is 10. It's 10 here. So now what do you need to multiply 5 to get 10? Multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply that by uh, 5, multiply by 5. So now find the equivalent fraction. 6 times 2 is 12, uh, 2 carry 1, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 times 5 is 45. And if you subtract it, that gives you um, 5 to 12 is 7, this is 4 and 10. That is 47 over 10. So this is a improper fraction, you have to turn into a mixed number. So let's do that. So if you do that, 47 divided by 10, 10 goes into 47 is 4 times, so 4 times 10 is 40, subtract it, you get 7, now same way, put the line here, the 7 go in the top, 10 goes in the bottom, so the correct answer is 4 and 7 over 10. This is another subtraction problem, let's do it. So in that case, you have a whole number. So if you have a whole number, you could put one underneath of that and then do exactly the same way I did the previous um, example. So that gives you 9 over 1 minus 3 times 5 is 15 plus 3 is 18 over 5. Find the common denominator which is 5. Right, so multiply that by 5, that by 5 by 1 by 1 so 14 um 9 times 5 is 45 18 times 1 is 18 and if you subtract it that gives you 8 to 15 is 7 so that is 27 over 5 this is a improper fraction so you have to turn into a mixed number so that gives you 27 over 5 5 goes into 27 is 5 times, so 5 times 5 is 25, subtract it, you get 2, put a line here, that gives you 2 fifths, so the correct answer is 5 and 2 fifths. So in that case, uh, pause the video and try to do by yourself, um, follow the exactly same way that I did and you will get this answer. Now let's do a um, what problem. This problem actually came before in the actual test. So uh, so let's do it. A certain bag of soil is three feet peat mass and the rest is dirt. What part is dirt? So what do you have to do first here? So say like in the whole pot, right? A whole pot and then it's a three fifth somehow. Um, that is three fifth is full with so what will be the rest right so what you need to do 1 minus 3 fifth so same way so 3 fifth find the common denominator which is 5 right so multiply that by 5 by 5 so this is 5 here and this is 3 here so if you subtract it so that gives you 2 fifth so that means 2 fifth is uh, full with dirt Okay, so now let's learn how to uh, multiply fraction. Okay, so keep that in mind here. If you want to multiply fraction, you just need to multiply top to top, bottom to bottom. No common denominator. You need the common denominator if you want to do addition or subtraction. For the multiplication or division, you don't need common denominator. You just need to um multiply straight across so three times one is three five times two is ten so the correct answer is three over ten so there is another problem if you see any time a mixed number multiply with a number so always need to make mixed number into improper fraction it doesn't matter for addition subtraction multiplication or division okay so let's do that three times five is fifteen plus one is 16 over 5 times 35 over 1. So if you multiply that, 35 times 16, let's do it. So 35 
times 16. So 6 times 5 is 30, 0, carry 3, 6 times um, 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21, put a 0 here, 5, 3, right? So 0, 5 plus 1 is 6, 3, 2 is 5, so that gives you 560, so 560 over 5. So this is an improper fraction, you have to turn into a mixed number. 5 goes into 5 is 1 times is 5, subtract it, bring this 6 down, 5 goes into 6 is 1, is 5 here, subtract, you get 1, bring the 0 down, 5 goes into 10 is twice, so this is 10. So the correct answer is 112. Next thing, you try by yourself, okay? So uh, I'll show you a little bit. So 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19 over 2 times 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 over 3. So you try by yourself, multiply top to top, bottom to bottom, and then um, get the correct answer. Let's do a practice problem. This problem actually came before in the actual ASVAB test. So let's learn. So a box of nail weight one and five six pound what is the weight of 12 boxes what do you have to do you have to multiply it so let's do that so one and five over six times 12. so you have to make this mixed number into improper fraction first so six times only six plus five is 11 over six times 12 over one so what you could do you could simplify this so six divided by six is one 12 divided by 6 is 2, and if you multiply top to top, bottom to bottom, so that gives you 11 times 2 is 22. So that weight is 22 pounds. Now, let's learn how to divide fraction. So same way, but a little bit different. So if you want to divide fraction, you have to follow a rule called Kentucky Chicken Fry. That means keep change flip so you have to keep this um the fraction in the left side whatever you have one fifth send the sign division into multiplication and then flip it as soon as you know that this is a multiplication multiply top to top bottom to bottom so that gives you two fifth okay so that is the correct answer now let's do another example so you could see here, um, this is the improper fraction, so you have to turn into a mixed number. So that gives you 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1 is 33 over 4 times 4 over 1. So now you could cross them out. Or if you multiply top to top, bottom to bottom, and then divide, you'll get the exactly same thing. So that gives you 33. So that is the answer. Now you try by yourself, okay, make this mixed number into improper fraction and follow the rule called K, C, A, Kentucky chicken fry and then you will get this answer. So this is a uh, what problem, this problem also came before in the actual ASVAB test, okay, so let's um, learn how to do it. A pizza is cut into eight equal pieces, a person who eats one half of a piece eats what fraction of the pizza so let's draw the pizza first okay let's do that so four slices this is six this is eight so each slice is one over eight and one person actually ate half of a slice so what do you need to do so that means one over eight divided by two right or you multiply by one half exactly the same thing you'll get so that means follow the rule one over eight times one half so that multiply means multiply top to top bottom to bottom so that gives you two sorry one over 16 so the correct answer is one over 16 okay so watch the video a few times and then download this application it has all this a practice problem you need for all different versions of ASVAB test. 
that will help you to prepare for the test.